All right, so we have made a lot of keto bread recipes on the channel, but one keto bread recipe we've never made before is keto yeast bread. So today I'm gonna show you a very quick, a very easy keto yeast bread recipe. And when I say quick and easy, I'm talking like five minutes from start to finish to make some bread from scratch. That's how easy this bread is. And this keto yeast bread, it's not just easy, but it's incredibly flavorful. It's got the perfect amount of tanginess to it from the yeast. The chewiness of it is totally on point and it toasts absolutely perfectly. Plus each slice has just one and a half grams of net carbs. That said, let's get right into the recipe and I'll show you how to make this keto yeast bread. Okay, so first things first, we we'll wanna get out our food scale because it's super important that we're as accurate as possible weighing out the ingredients for this keto bread. And then to that food scale, we're gonna add a large measuring cup and start adding the dry ingredients. The first of which is going to be blanched almond flour. However, you could also use sunflower seed or walnut flour as well. Anyways, we're gonna add around three quarters of a cup or 86 grams of the almond flour to our bowl. And then when we've got that in there, we're gonna add some unflavored protein powder. By the way, I tried making this keto yeast bread without the protein powder by replacing it with more almond flour. And then I tried replacing it with collagen and it was a total fail. So don't try to make this bread without it. That said, we're gonna use two thirds of a scoop or 22 grams of it for today's keto yeast bread recipe. And when that's looking good, we're gonna add just a touch of sweetness to the bread without adding any carbs or calories by using two teaspoons or six grams of confectioner swerve. Then we're going to add a half a teaspoon or two grams of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of xanthan gum, about an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, and then lastly, we're gonna add some yeast because of course we are making yeast bread. And we're gonna add around a teaspoon or three grams of rapid rise yeast to our bowl. So that's it for the dry ingredients. The only wet ingredient we'll need is about a third of a cup or 100 grams of some warm water. So we're just gonna add that to our bowl. And then we're gonna get out our spatula and mix everything together until a thick paste forms in the bowl. When it does, we're gonna get out a four cup square glass dish like this, and then we're gonna generously coat it with baking spray. Now we're gonna add the batter for our keto yeast bread to the dish and evenly spread it out with our spatula. When that's looking good, we're gonna microwave the bread for about two minutes and 30 seconds. And then I like to check in on it and make sure that the top is firm. And if it isn't totally firm, I'll microwave it for 15 seconds at a time until it is. Then when that's all set, we're gonna remove the keto yeast bread with a kitchen mitt because the dish can get really hot, guys, and we're gonna let the bread cool down to room temperature. Also, you can bake this keto yeast bread in the oven as well. Just preheat your oven to 350 degrees and cook the bread for about 15 minutes, really just until the top is firm and golden brown. Anyways, when the bread's done cooking and it's had time to cool, we're just gonna flip it upside down and then we're gonna use a thin bread knife to cut it in half. Then we can use a larger knife to cut it into quarters and then check this out. Look how perfect these slices of keto yeast bread turn out. So I know what you're thinking, can I toast this bread? And the answer is 100% yes. This yeast bread toasts incredibly well, so just add it to your toaster like you would any other kind of bread and it will toast up perfectly like this. As always, for more info on today's low-carb keto bread recipe, check out the video description below, and I hope you enjoy the bread. 